like how like I mean that used to be a white bag and that's definitely not white. That's definitely it didn't used to be a white bag. I buy colored Ziploc yeah, bags. I, I, no, no. Check no, your no. fucking hypotenuses, dude. We're gonna get into your fucking LASIK surgery, your color blindness, <laughs> your addiction to drugs. What? <laughs> if, if anything, it'll be like Dalton never <laughs> left. Oh, Are I we on? Was, is this fucking Elon? Dude, okay, have you ever tried welcome DMT? back to another episode of On Tap with the Boys, episode number thirty-five. Today's episode is sponsored by Send Bolum Speed and Caleb. We have them here today as uh, our guests. We've already been into the beers a little bit. Before we even start, I want to say I freshly came from fucking work probably <laughs> twenty minutes ago, and these guys are fucked up. So let's. Uh, this is going to be fun. You Probably are now not. listening to On Tap with the Boys, a podcast about beer, bad decisions, and bad friends, with your hosts, Cody, Tyler, Dalton, and Tucker. Oh, oh you thought I was just smoking a, a blunt. I literally, I, I literally <laughs> thought you sparked up a big ass blunt. I'm like, what the no, fuck is going on? It's a cigar. I'm looking at you. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? I'm classier than that. Just glad also, today, our pre-show shot is also sponsored by Jasmine Taft. Hell yeah. Just so happened to sell her house with Taylor. Taylor Deckis. Of Keller Williams Realty? Yeah. Premier Real Estate? Oh, fire yeah. me up. So, so what are these? Shout out to the Breakfast Ball Boys because they got us hooked on the peppermint schnapps. Oh, we're I fucking think. addicted. If you haven't listened to the Breakfast Ball episode, give it a listen. Give theirs a listen. Fucking love it, dude. We're going to polish the rest of this bottle off. We're going to split it into fours equally. Hey, what did I say? I said the whole thing? No, no. Yeah. Let's start off with that. Okay. I'm literally I'm fucking okay. sober. Oh, for little more. fuck's sake. There you dude, go. No, you're sober. You're good. Oh. oh. <laughs> no. Grow okay. up, dude. It's going to be a long fuck up. episode here. You're like 30 years older than me, and I'm, oh. I'm is, still is, more mature. Is this like a sipper? <laughs> <laughs> dude, you might as well dump all of it in there now. Get oh rid of it. Oh my god, dude, that, that's dude, dead I'm like a third even. of that your size. Even. I'm literally a third of your size, man. Jake, do you want to try too. one of these? <laughs> oh my god. Should we talk about the hamburger? Whoa. No, we're not. <laughs> talk about the hamburger. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jasmine, for one, selling your house with Taylor, and two, donating these beautiful sipping uh, shot glasses for the boys. Wait, so we're supposed to smash it after? So shout out. No. Oh. Do you want to <sighs> chug the whole thing? That's a lot of peppermint schnapps. I'm not going to lie. Here. I'll go first. Clean the teeth. Oh. Here's the problem. If I drink the rest of that, I'm going to be on a different level. Maybe not. It was literally not even a full mouthful. It wasn't even a whole mouthful. Hold on. Is that the first time you ever uh, said that was a whole mouthful? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's start right there. Okay. What? So let's <laughs> this, this so quadruple pre-show who is, shot. Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, Caleb, Caleb, Tyler. No, 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 not this, not this fucking guy. I don't care about this guy. I'm talking about uh, talking about the guy in the end, dude. Send Bolum Speed. He is our only this, returning guest. This is Sen on Bolum? The on tap with the boys. I thought this was that motherfucker from Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> Would you like to go bowling, cousin? <laughs> cousin! <laughs> we, were trying to, we went to the dollar store beforehand, and we were trying to get him a gold chain. But the oh, dollar store right. doesn't sell right. gold yeah. chains. This guy yeah. fucks, dude. Ain't that a bitch? They don't sell fake gold at the dollar store. They'll sell just about everything. <laughs> fake Hot Pockets, fake pizza rolls, you know, just about everything you could think of that's fake. But what not about gold fake chain. chest hair to go with that? No, oh, no my goodness. not enough. <laughs> I'm fake chest hair? Yeah. Hey, hey, dad, calm down. Someone's got to hit puberty here first. Okay. We're going to get the chest so hair. So we okay. have Sun Bowling back here. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Um, <laughs> who is this other guy and why is he here? Well, that's, and where's Dalton? That, that's kind of a sensitive story. <laughs> why you're here? Why are you here? Uh, I'll let Cody take care of that one. He he was gonna hold on. Let me finish. Point. He was going to be just behind the scenes today, hanging out on the couch with Jake, but um, Dalton let us know that he wasn't going to be on today's episode, and so uh, he was just here and by default. And I said, Caleb. You have to you have to get messed up and be on the podcast. So like, hey, if you you know get really messed up right now, yeah, you can come yeah. on the podcast. So how do you we, feel? We've been shotgunning beers. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm yep. I'm there. I think we're gonna kick them off after the bathroom break. Are we? I'm not. I won't. I swear. I won't. <laughs> I swear. I'm not. Are you guys? Uh, All right, let's get into our bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys keeping up on this whole monolith? 
like uh, appearing in random ass places yes. around the world. A- actually, I have. Um, so I follow. Uh, so this is Sam Bolin Speed talking. Yep. So Sam Bolin Speed here. Thanks. Follow me on Facebook. It's great. <laughs> Read my blog. Um, no. So I I saw the monolith. It was out in Utah. And what it is, it's a uh, for anyone that doesn't know, it's a triangular piece of aluminum. It's three pieces that are riveted together. They're about a foot long on each side. It goes about six feet high. I follow heavy D. I, I heard it was ten feet. No. It looked taller than the people standing next it's, to it. It's all relative. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Small, heavy D. Sm- Talk small, about the D. Small people. Um, so Heavy D Everybody went to it, to and they, uh, so originally there was a whole thing about it. They're like, oh my God, where did this thing come from? No one had any idea. Right. Heavy D, who lives in Utah. And has a helicopter. Has a helicopter. It's really sweet. I Makes saw it him, easier. I saw him and uh, uh, whatever whistling diesel flying around in that thing the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so they, uh, so he goes to it, right? Because he lives in Utah because he's a Mormon or whatever. And they're like, oh, we live in Utah. So they Does go he to live the, in Utah because he's a Mormon? Well, then. Or is he a Mormon because he lives in Utah? It's kind of subjective, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like both, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you know. Okay, okay, okay. So he found it with his helicopter. You know, you got to kind of be like a Teves Wolf. He fan. did go if, to it? He went yeah. to it. He, he went took to some it. badass pictures. He went to it. He did a whole video on his Instagram, his YouTube. Huge. And he was just like, these guys went through. This is fake. Someone went through with a cement saw, cut yeah. it out, cut it out, cut it out, because it's a triangle. They did it very poorly, and he showed all the stuff that like the media wasn't showing, because everyone's like, oh, my God. It looks alien. perfect. In the, in the photos. photos. In the photos. Just like most girls on Instagram, it doesn't look like that in real life. Okay. So... They cut it out, Damn it. and it was all riveted together, and he did like a whole disclosure thing. He stood on the top of it. I don't know really? if we can. I don't know if we could drop a picture of him like but in here somewhere doing. He it. isn't the one that cut it out though. Some random people took it, didn't they? Did they ever find it? I don't know who. Well, took get it. so get this. Now get there was another one, the exact same thing yeah. found it, in it, Romania mm-hmm. the day that that disappeared in Utah, and then that one disappeared, and now there's been another one spotted in at. Uh, hold on, I wrote this down because I knew I was going to forget this. Did you see the amazing Photoshop of the one? Atascadero. Atascadero, California, on a mountain. On a mountain. And this is like, okay, Salt Lake City, Romania. No. Atascadero, California. No. They're I, all the same thing, though. No. The, the you big, think this is being planned out? The biggest thing is that every single person has an aluminum supplier, and you can buy aluminum sheets, and you can rivet all these together. And anyone can go to their local Ace or hardware store or whatever, and they can rent a cement chop saw, probably about 20 bucks an hour, and they can cut out and put this just about anywhere that they want. I swear, tell you what, tomorrow? Let's do it. There could be one in Pine City right now. There could be one in Pine City when? tomorrow. What? Yep. You understand that you want to do current events. This isn't coming out until December 14th. <laughs> Cody's like Cody's like dude I want to be super like current <laughs> That's why dude that's why I wore my I wore my Flavor Town fucking Christmas shit cuz I'm like dude 11 cry. days till Christmas motherfuckers Damn you guys are you doing a Christmas episode? I don't know. Our, we're filming the Christmas episode on the 18th. Well yeah and I'm going to say every episode before Christmas I'll be wearing a Christmas sweater. Just to uh, wow. I'm I'm big Christmas guy. I actually am not. I don't Why? have a single decoration in my house. Why? Mm. Lord hates me. I went to Cody's house today, and uh, this is for the viewers, and you can <laughs> chime in if you want to or not. He did not have a tree topper. What? But I had a tree he had, up he with had a, lights on he it. He had a full tree a with lights, what? no topper. I don't not think, on purpose. I, I, I 100%. Just I think Taylor if you're going to reach the top. If you're going to go <laughs> through and you're going to put up a whole tree and you don't put up the topper, that's kind of like mashed potatoes. With no gravy, why so, would you not do that? What do you like? What do you put on top of a Christmas tree, though? Like, well, you, you could you could put a star. Uh huh. You could put an angel. Yeah. You could put a hollowed out beer can. There's what, a lot of. What if I can't decide between a star or an angel? So I just put a picture of Dale Earnhardt on top of it. You probably wouldn't fit in the. You wouldn't fit in the car. Hell yeah, brother! Can I get a? Oh my god! <laughs> 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 I, I Somebody saw. throw some. <laughs> here's, here's the, the tree topper thing is not because 
we're blasphemous to Christmas or any sort of Christmas traditions. What the real reason is, one, we don't have a normal tree topper because ours, I think, got broken or stolen in the move or lost. Okay. Probably Anyways. stolen. They, Probably people stolen. love stealing tree, the tree toppers tree on a topper moving season. Cars. <laughs> when I bust into a house, I'd go, where are those Rubbermaid totes? They're in the basement. They say Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to take just the tree topper. <laughs> Give me not, no. not the holiday, not the 1991, you know, ornament. I'm going to take the tree topper. I want all not your the, motherfucking tree toppers and your left foot sock, dude. Yeah, that's all I'm here for. Obviously. Okay, so on, on top of this, this, we have the same initials. I'm gonna take that sock, put it and on. your underwear. What? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my. Yeah. <laughs> we had, we had a, a fan of on tap, Steven. We have fan. Oh fuck, Steven. Fuck Donate Steven. us. No, 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 no. no. This, oh, this Steven, Steven. His, this Steven is is a good Steven. He gave us all There's these. No good Steven. Beer Christmas deck. Fuck Steven. <laughs> He gave me all these beer Christmas decorations for the podcast. <laughs> we don't have a tree in here, and I don't know where we would put one, but it's a, a Coors Banquet. Definitely tree be topper. next to Danny. Definitely would have to be next to Danny. Danny McConnell. So we. Oh, this, <laughs> so are we getting a tree then? We'll put them on Danny, maybe. It's a Crimbus miracle. Do we get a real one or a fake one? I, uh, I don't know. How big is the ornament? Can we just get like a small real one? I could just cut out of like my pasture and just put it on the desk. <laughs> your pasture? Yeah. With, bro, we don't have to flex on us with your acres. Yeah. <laughs> Not to brag. When I say hey. pasture, I plantation. mean my four acres behind my house. Yeah. That, that can w- fit two horses? Yeah. What's up? How many yeah. horses you got? Zero. At least <laughs> horses in the back. Ask me how many cows I got. How many roots you have in your front yard? Ask me how many cows I got. How many guys you got? Zero. <laughs> I, uh, this, this has got to be just terrible. The people oh, listening are just like, "Wow, these someone, guys are fucked up." Someone's sitting there. And you guys, like, this is awful. No, I. Uh, so we're we're sitting at dinner the other night, and uh, my buddy Luke Bowman, who's never gonna listen to podcast, God bless you. Why not? And uh, he's talking the one day, and he goes, "Hey, he goes, when they made the transcontinental railroad, you know how wide they made every train." And I go, how wide did they make every train? And he goes, well, they made them two buffalo wide because they were cutting through the North Dakotas. And I was like, A, the transcontinental railroad went through, like, Nebraska. And B, why would they be two buffalo wide? They couldn't just, (laughs) you know? And he was just, like, dumbfound. He's like, well, I read this. They said it's two buffalo wide for every train. And I was like, yeah, and every door is two raspberry bushes wide. What, <laughs> what, the what is your point right now? And he's just like, I don't know, man. Just put two buffalo by a train. <laughs> he was just pissed. That's a about, great argument. He was wow. just pissed about it. He goes, every train's two buffalo wide. Just, dude, if you don't believe a train is two buffalo wide, put two fucking buffalo next to it. <laughs> Swear to fucking God. It's what is the point wide. of that? I don't know. I don't know, but that's the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing I've ever was, heard. That was the whole don't thing. Don't believe me? Try it, dude. Yeah, that was this whole thing. It's too buffalo wide. Every train's too buffalo wide. I was like, <laughs> And you associate with this person? Yeah, he's my best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Not, not that one. What? <laughs> not that best friend. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. No, yeah, you're exactly. sitting there like fucking exactly. Joe Rogan over here just puffing. Yeah, well, I was gonna. <laughs> so, I, was, I was gonna say you want to give like a shout out to like those jazzes you're smoking, or what are you what are you They're, smoking on? Um, <laughs> Great. What are they? Wood wood tips. The the purple ones. Black and mild. You said the oh well yeah wine. The wood. I told the him backwoods honey berry. He brings me. Uh, Whoa. What did I just say? <laughs> Wood? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe we should just try again. Black and tomorrow. mild. Wine flavor. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> should, we, should we should just try again tomorrow? Oh. Oh. Jake. All right, hit the clip. Lord of Man of the Week. Okay. All right. Uh, the, the Florida Man of the Week this week. Oh man, I just opened my phone to a picture of Dale Earnhardt, and I'm just, I just <laughs> literally just a little bit. A little bit. Um, so Viagra. Our Florida Man of the Week this week is of Estero, Estero, Florida. No way. What? You have no idea what the fuck that is. That's where JP lives. JP. 
Shout out to JP. In Astero, Florida? Okay, well, ask him if he knows Richard Wilbanks, dude. He's 74 of Astero. <laughs> That sounds ask right. Him. The here. average age of someone in Astero is like 60. Send him. Here, I'll send him his address. What did what no, did he do? No, no, Richard, what did Astero uh, man do? Richard Wilbanks of Astero, 74. He was walking his dog. Actually, he didn't have his dog on a leash, okay? Wear your fucking mask and put your dog on a leash, okay? But... He was walking, walking with his dog next to a fucking pond He's in Florida. He's got a chair. He's yeah. walking. <laughs> and it's Florida. And a fucking alligator yeah. grabbed his dog, dude. Little cute little puppy. This alligator grabbed his dog. Can you? Can somebody this is interact a fake story. with me? No, this is fucking real. Estero... Why would there be a croc or a dude, this croc in a dude? No. A motherfucker was deer hunting in Minnesota and found a fucking crocodile or alligator. Yeah, true. Exactly. Okay. What? Okay, they're not fair. in fucking Florida. Okay. So that was the th- whole yeah, thing. So no, 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 no. No, he. The, the alligator no, grabbed no, no. the. The alligator grabbed the <laughs> okay. dog, and the dude's fucking smoking a cigar. Like the, this guy over here. It was probably a fatty hill. Yeah, and uh, he's like fucking sprung into action and grabbed the alligator by the. By the head with the cigar still in his mouth. Was and, it a big gator? And ripped, I don't know, we could say it's like eight feet for the story. Just ripped this alligator open and saved his dog out of this alligator. Oh, shit. Yeah. And brought him to the Dude, hospital. That's the most Florida man shit I've Dude, ever heard. No shit. Save your dog from an alligator. Definitely going to be Florida man. See, this is current events we're talking about. It's a cute ass dog. It's Florida. It's a man. It's, like, it's literally checks wait, wait, all the boxes. Wait. It's a man with a cute ass dog. Yeah, dude, you want to see this dog? No, oh, it was like hold a five-pound little it, like shit is it, is it cuter than Fluffy right here? It's kind of like a Bubbles. Cocker Spaniel. Bubbles? Yeah, Bubbles no, that, right that's here. A, that's a King Charles. That's is a that King Charles. Charles. Those are expensive as hell. Oh, it's like a, well, that's that, why he fought for that's it. That's why probably. he's like, fuck this crocodile. I paid 1500 bucks for this dog. Damn. Or what's expensive as hell? How much is this dog? Yeah, I would. They're uh, probably they're, like They get to like 3500 No. Oh. So I actually have a neighbor over here on Lake Pagagama that breeds them. No kidding. Yeah. No Dude, lie. They get big dough for those things. She charges between male and female thirty two hundred to thirty five hundred a piece. Holy. Damn. Does That's she insane. Breed? <laughs> Does she breed? <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need one for Tyler. We're not like talking a, about a dog. Like a puppy? I need a breeder. No, no. I need a breeder. <laughs> well, thirty five hundred a piece. Are you are, are you familiar with the 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 population situation in Taiwan right now? It was uh, actually kind of a big oh, deal. I no, stay I like I, I stay big time with Thai, uh, population of Taiwan. Yeah, no, no, it's a big food. thing in the news right now actually food. because there's more pets in Taiwan than there is kids. Like the birth rate has significantly dropped, and they're correlating it with more people owning pets. Is that different in the United States? I would assume that everybody has way more dogs. Or you I, know, I'm like, going to be honest, guys. This is sense in my heart because the foreign countries. Don't Vietnam, like <laughs> he shut your mic. Off. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> I said that for a second. <laughs> okay, foreign countries. All right, so they eat dog. Okay, which I do not oh support at all. It's well, sketchy. South Korea's got like dog farms. We, we can't go this way. No, hold on. I'm just kidding. That's so, Florida. like, no lie. Like, I so I used to live in like Maui, right? Okay. Not they to used, brag. <laughs> they used to make <laughs> sure that like. That Vietnamese people did not adopt dogs from the rescue. Because I rescued two dogs while I lived there. Okay. But, yeah, no, they would, like... like a for burning building or... No, for chow chow time. <laughs> you saved them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they made sure that they didn't give them to, like, the those cultures of people. Because like, they would, for sure. Right, yeah. They because just bu- were buying them from like, the pet stores. Thanksgiving, it's time to go to Turkey. Or, like, in, like we eat a turkey on Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> They're just Thanksgiving dinners over dogs. It's it's like, dude. I, what do you mean they roast them? I, I, I'm not trying to go to. This. Hey, it's, it's side I'm not note. Proud of it, but this is a true story. Side note: I can't name any names. My friend is a social worker. Uh. He was telling me about these people that were cooking whole goats in this apartment building. Ripped out all their front of their cabinets. Put a chicken wire, and they're raising chickens in their cabinets in this apartment building. Oh, that's in East Grand up. Forks. That's where I live. <laughs> yeah, I can't say. I can't I say. Can't that. Even, I can't. Oh, well, well, well actually, I think he's done now. This is I think a hot he's done. He's not a social worker no this more. Is a hot take. That's where I live. That's like three blocks away from my house. They, oh, shit. they fucked that place up. 
Yeah. They were like burning goats, roasting yeah. goats in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Chickens raising them in the cabinets. Dude, talk about a life though. Like You want to know how oh. cheap I got my house down the street from that place? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but you were literally a block away from that. Dude, yeah, I know. The only thing better than roasting a goat inside is a fucking greasy indoor cheeseburger party. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh. Dude, remember that episode, bro? Hell the yeah. The pocket burger? No, no. I remember I was, the, we're talking trailer I remember park the, boys. Oh. I remember the pocket burger. I, I'm a big pocket burger guy. There was a McChicken here earlier. It had I, Viagra in it. Did it? Did you <laughs> did you eat it? No. Our guest that we had on last week, Luke, gave us some Viagra, and I was going to put it in a burger. That he I actually wanted gave you Viagra? Viagra? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, you he, just hold on to him? He, well, he said he had them. And, and like, well, he wants I was Viagra? like, hey, I, we should put one in Tyler's beer or something. <laughs> Or put it in a burger. All right, yeah. So, anyways, hit off a, the rails. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hit, go. Hit a. Uh, so, anyways, um, the other day I was out mowing my yard. Right. Raising chickens in your apartment building. <laughs> True story. <laughs> the other day I was out raising chickens in my apartment building. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. We're clipping it to no, this. No, I thought here. that was actually pretty good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no. God damn it! Okay. Lots of okay, chickens. hold on. How many chickens? Jake, you got? we're clicking it. Cli- yeah, clipping give him it. a clicker. Give him a, a sound bite for a clicker. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I want to break it on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right, hold, right? Wait, okay, hold on. Hold on. Are we on the thing? Or okay, hold on. <laughs> Three, two, one. We're on the thing. All right. So the other day, I'm sitting out of my house, right? Mm-hmm. And I see. And there's nothing that pisses me off more was I had a guy walking in front of my house and he's got this, he's got one young lab. He's got one old lab, right? That would piss me off too. Yeah. But, but here's the thing though. Now (laughs) he takes the old lab and he's just pulling this thing down the street. Right. Yeah. And finally, like the, like the young lab is whatever this guy I, I can't make this up because I was looking at my picture window and I was looking at this. This guy takes the old lab, the dog lays down. He it doesn't want to move anymore. And he, so the guy takes the old lab, right? He leaves it. I've seen this guy walk by my house countless, countless, countless times. He leaves the old lab right in front of my house. And I'm sitting in the picture window watching TV and I'm like Just leaves the dog? Yeah, just left it. Dog's laying there, leaves the leash, everything. Takes the younger dog, walks it home. This guy comes back like 10 minutes later. He comes back, grabs the younger one, picks this thing up, carries it back to its house. Oh, no. I didn't think he was going to leave it. Like, honestly, I saw this dog sitting in front of my house for like, it it seriously had to be like 20 minutes. Dude, you have to think, dude. You could like have a barbecue or something. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> We're not talking about Jesus eating dogs Christ. no more. What's going on? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. We're gonna. Uh, <laughs> where are we going with that? Anyways. Okay. There's more pets than kids in Taiwan. Mm-hmm. We're getting caught up. Ben no. almost adopted this old dog in his front yard. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take a little bathroom break. Get ourselves oh. together here, real quick. Figure your life out. It's time for a bathroom break. The boys will be right back. Holy fucking shit. That bathroom break. What? And I'm going to bring the heat. I'm going to come right back into it, dude. I'm, I'm coming back in. I'm okay. bringing the heat. Okay. All right. You got the heat. We're back. Right. Okay. So, now, boys, when I went through that bathroom break, I went through something very special. What do you call that? Like, your mind, like, you hit a, a, a stay of judification. I, I'm talking about 2001, January 15th. I hit turn three. I'm okay. talking... We hit the biggest thing we possibly could, and that was a Dale Herner hit. Praise be him. That was your now, third birthday? No. What? Not quite. <laughs> I don't know so what's boys, going on. <laughs> sorry, nah, I no, boys. Sorry. What do you I, mean? I, I came up with the greatest idea. Now, when I was in that bathroom break, mm-hmm. I went through. I urinated. I flushed the toilet, right? Okay. And I flushed it. I hit that handle, and I go, man, this toilet can handle a lot and excuse my language shit and i timed it i timed the toilet to see how fast it could chug everything i put down and you know what i timed it at i timed it at 5.21 
seconds. Now that is from nothing to full plunger. That is to dropping two and a half to three and a half gallons of water. Now you know where I'm going with this, correct? I have no, no idea no, no, where the no, fuck no, you're going with this. It's pretty shitty. I know it's there. I, I'm like, what is going on? I'm lost. Now, when I did this toilet, I tried to figure out how much SpaghettiOs this toilet could take oh, down in okay. seconds. Okay. So the toilet could do a can the toilet, of SpaghettiOs. The toilet could do a can two. of SpaghettiOs in 5.21 seconds. Now, it could? For, okay. it could, it can, it always will. Now, I have this leaderboard right here. Okay. And the toilet is pretty quick. Okay. It's hard to beat a Kohler. I feel like I'm on, like, uh, like Price is Right. You should be on Fear Factory, and you should be scared for your life. Okay. And there's no $10,000 to win, but you could have it. So, it's 5.21 okay. seconds. So, what do I get if I beat it? The SpaghettiOs versus the toilet. Now, I'm going to set this right here. What do I get if I beat it? So. <laughs> <laughs> so. As I continue on, please hold. I'm like full now. I've been chugging beers the, the first half. I should have known. I've seen the Snapchat. Uh, now. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no. Oh. Is it even going to come through there? <laughs> now, we have. It just leaks we out. Have, <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. We have the Freedom Funnel. Now, the Freedom yeah. Funnel is full of 16 ounces SpaghettiOs. Now that's gonna be found at any of your grocery stores, and it's full right now. You now, have five point two one seconds is what it takes to beat, and this is what I'm challenging Tyler right now to see if you could beat the Kohler. You could beat something that has a three and a half inch intake outtake to a four see, inch. That's external. literally what I'm think. I'm holding myself back is the spigot. SpaghettiOs is kind of thick, you know. Hey, hey, is it gonna flow in five seconds, Tyler? Tyler, no, it's funny. That you should say that. I you, say that. You think that that spigot is what's going to hold you back. I do. You have I two do. options. And I see the other one already. You have a second option. I will take option number two. You have a second option of what is going to flow better. And we will take the camera. We will shoot over to Cody right now. And we have a margarita glass full of SpaghettiOs That's right now. That's 16 ounces. <laughs> that is 16 ounces in a cactus margarita glass. Now... 5.2 seconds, or 5.21, excuse me. Okay. Sorry, with relativity, is what it takes to chug down a whole can of SpaghettiOs. Now, the Kohler could do it. Now, you have your option of the margarita glass. Or the freedom funnel. Or the freedom funnel. Margarita glass all day. Really? <laughs> You're licking your lips? I don't know. I The freedom funnel, there's no way I'm going to get it in five seconds. See, now that's what you think, but what if the freedom funnel is watered down a little bit? <laughs> is it? Hey, is it really? You don't know that. Yeah. Uh, uh, to be, to be honest, is. well, then it's more fluid. Sixteen ounces. I'm already full. Oh and wow! And Seventeen and a half. A, it's got a hair on it. Hey. Oh, you put a shot in it. No, there's no nope. hair. There <laughs> is <laughs> a hair hanging from it right there. There is no shot. There is no alcohol. There is no nothing. And just like your girlfriend, she won't know the difference between an ounce and a half and sixteen. What? I don't know. What How I mean. does that make sense at all? What? Okay. All right. What do I get if I beat five point two seconds? Brother, I'm talking the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through far enough. Now, I already have toilet. Okay. And that's a beautiful cola. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That's a beautiful cola. Are you I'm trying talking, to convince me? I'm so? talking. Are you five, trying to convince me? I'm talking 5.21 yes. seconds. Now, do you think you can beat that with the serpent? Think you can Polish? Honestly, I don't know. That's Genuinely. fucking fast. You legitimately flushed a toilet or did you just yeah, look this up? I did this. Dude, this shit's thick. Okay, let's do this. All right, so Tyler, I'm sorry for the people that are just listening There's because this might be this painful. Too. There's a fucking but hair this in is, this too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the man behind the curtain. There is a margarita glass full of SpaghettiOs, 16 ounces of SpaghettiOs that Tyler is going to chug and try to chug it less in less time than our toilet did Why in the studio. Why does this have to be me? Because you were gonna you were gonna shotgun the the and can, can of, soup. of soup. And so I, we're, that's what gave us the idea. And I am ready. Whenever you are ready. Okay, I don't know how to tackle this, but I'm just going to go for it, okay? You guys okay. ready? Hold on. Yep. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two seconds. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Fire, Cheers. Fire whenever. Stay faded. <laughs> Gross. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, my. He sets it down. Oh. Are you ready? 
I'm, I know that wasn't faster than 5.2 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear it slurping. <laughs> Dude, <they hear. laughs> Are you like good on dinner you, now? I'm kind you, of excited. Uh, are you ready for the answer? I'm scared. What's because the over under? The over under? I got the over under. Oh, fuck. Do you well, really? 5.2. Okay, what is it? What is it? <laughs> yeah, 5.2. 8.33. Really? Yeah. Not even fucking yeah. with you. Oh my god, that was terrible. You For a whole can of thought. spaghettios. You wanna try it again? Yeah. You wanna hit the freedom? No. <laughs> <laughs> we had um Brian Sharpentier messaged the Snapchat when I put that on the Snapchat when we were getting it ready. And he said you need to add a cheap hot dog and a shot of vodka to it and, and it's a bloody Mario. So is that what that is? No. Oh. <laughs> no. That's literally just oh a little God. It's a little bit of water. <laughs> with the spaghettios. Actually, 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 I want to be very I want to be very transparent with this. There's a little bit of water in this one. That was full concentrate that you hit, brother. <laughs> okay, I was scared the Viagra I'm, was in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I told Ben before the show, I said, "How about this? I have a Viagra Cody, Cody, sitting Cody, over Cody, here Cody. for just just for shits and giggles. It, what if we put it in one of them and say, hey, that's a different <laughs> dynamic to this. You can choose one or the other, but one of them has Viagra in it.' <laughs> I'm, honestly, I'm honestly scared to like take Viagra. This, yeah, you know, I don't want it to screw up my my longevity. My How scared are you? <laughs> Honestly, I'd be interested. I think you put it I'd in my interested. head. I think it's like a placebo effect. I'm just gonna get a hard now. I'm scared. <laughs> what? That yeah, bro? Well, What's first, it to you? <laughs> we gotta get a girl for you use it. How girl? I heard how, you. <laughs> how? How scared are you of it? I'm not that scared. No, it was just more like if I just lose my bone ski, like you know, you, you can ruin yourself for life. Can't you? What? Uh, so anyways, I, I think if you take Viagra too young, you can like ruin your bone ski for life. I'm pretty so sure. So anyways, on tap with the boys here. Tune in for their spot. Did you Viagra me? We will see what yeah. happens with Tyler Pleshik here. He is very nervous. We will see if he gets very horny. Next vlog coming out soon. <laughs> um, today's hair. episode is also sponsored by uh, the Dollar Tree. Yeah, God bless Jen at the Dollar Tree. She wouldn't let me break any of these cups in the parking lot to see if they were as as thin as I thought they were. But God, they break. They just break great. Missed it. I really appreciate these glasses. So, Jen, thank you so much for letting me buy all 48 Did of you these. get the spaghetti, sir? Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks, Jen. Yeah, good. Love you. Do you want to see if you can beat your record with the Freedom Funnel? Honestly, I feel like 8.3 is actually kind of depressing. I was oh, hoping yeah. I'd be closer than that. I don't want to write down a score yet. I almost we have a real <laughs> what if score. You just, it's like, just, no lie, like trying to say, okay, hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. It, through the spirit of radio, lift this. Just oh, lift just it. Just for the shot. Just lift it. See what you think. Oh, Do you funny. think? And look at how look at how watery this one is it, versus it the flows, whole. Flows, but <laughs> it there's do, still O's of noodles in there. There's <laughs> many O's. It's got a secret message that goes, ooh. Ooh. The spaghetti goes, Peter. <laughs> the Lois, there's funnel. a secret message in my spaghetti goes, like, ooh. Speaking of Taiwan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. We were talking about the, there's more yeah. pets than there yeah. is children yeah. 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 in Taiwan. I right think now. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Back Did yeah. you see that whole ordeal of the, the Taiwanese government like losing their shit over that whole import of the U.S. meats thing? No, I didn't. So they got this big thing right now where uh, they're trying to pass a bill that allows them to import, um, you know, like ba- I think it's beef and pork into Taiwan from the U.S. Okay. And I think there's a lot of people that oppose it. It's a long fucking ways for beef and pork to they, go across the ocean. They brought a shit ton of pig guts and mm-hmm. just like animal guts to the like the whatever it's called where they all meet up. China. And, <laughs> what do you mean? No, like the, it's like a, well, like a like a conference, like where they all vote on it, like where they all vote on it, like all the lawmakers, like Congress. Are, yeah, are, kind of. Are you saying that it's a meat meat? <gasps> I'm oh. meat, meat Jesus Christ! <laughs> so they brought a bunch of guts and they're like throwing them at each other in like oh. a huge war, and then people are like punching each other out and throwing guts and like intestines at each other. 
in protest over this bill. It would just looks like a big, like kind of disgusting food fight. But I understand it though. Like if you you have pigs and cows in your country and you're going to import it from yeah. the U.S. for cheaper, and and why would you? How do that? the fuck is that cheaper? You're shipping it. Across the whole Bro, goddamn ocean. Because we grow our shit in bulk and we inject the hell out of them with hormones to the point where they grow like I don't 10 know times Moses. faster. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 like our shit grows 10 times faster because of the like the hormones that they pump into them at big dairy farms. It, they don't do that in China? <laughs> essentially, it's basically like that Viagra that you just swallowed down. Mm-hmm. It's going to get bigger. It's going to be hormones. It's going to be pumped through. Go on. <laughs> Is that it? That's uh, it. That's it. And Tyler's not. Folks. That's a big deal. And Tyler, Hormones are barely big deal. And, and, <laughs> and Tyler's not here to help you with it, so I'm sorry. That's not how you but, use that. I know. It's that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <clears throat> well, th- so the Taiwanese thing. That's a big huge Taiwan deal. guy this, this I know. week. Well, there's a lot of shit going on in Taiwan that I've been reading about. Yep. More pets than kids. You need to quit reading so much, I think. Good food. I think that's probably I think, it. Are you, are you using that fucking VPN that we've been talking about? Did you start are you using that, VPN. Like, you're set up in Taiwan? I'm set up in Taiwan. Yeah. That's where all my ads his, are Taiwanese. His server is in Taiwan, so he just gets fucking meat fucking stories. Meat stories? About the Taiwanese government. Yeah. You gotta trying go to overthrow You got to go in an incognito browser to get that meat story? Or? <laughs> that's not on Instagram, is I it? I get the, the meat stories from NordVPN. I got to update this, Tyler. No, we'll stick with 833. Oh. I would uh, love to see if anybody could beat that. Really? 8.33 on the spaghetti. Yeah, We're anybody, calling out the anybody listeners. Anybody here can you're, beat 833? You're not going to do that, that little tiny little hole. Huh? It's, it's, yeah. You, no, you That's a lot of spaghetti. Market. I got 100 bucks. In the freedom I got, a, I got 100 bucks in this room if anybody can beat 833. I think Jake could do it. Shout out to fucking dollars. I'm serious. And shout gonna, out to Tim Bellin for giving us the freedom funnel. You're not even going to consider this, Cody? You're unemployed, bro. Not unemployed. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, his, his dad You pays got him. fired, bro. Remember that? Dude, his From dad where? pays him. It's fine. Mighty. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. But no, do you want it? 833, 100 bucks. Beat 833. Cody, I think oh. you can do it. $100? $100, oh. $100 if you beat 833. I can't do it because my thing, I can't swallow them things whole. I have to chew it. I, now did, you, I oh, don't oh. think I ever could either, and I just went for it. See, now you sound like... <sighs> It's, it's gopping down thick tomato paste is how I imagine it. This one's a little watered down. The other one is full concentrate. Now how do you think Tyler, the camera guy, would have thought about that? He thinks Bloody Mary suck because they're tomato soup. You think and that's, he would and, an entire And, and, and that is just a spicy ketchup drink, and, and I don't agree with it. And I literally just chugged actual spicy ketchup. No, the what? Oh, those SpaghettiOs. Fuck. So anyways, Tyler. So nobody's taking that. Do you want a redemption at it? No, I'm not going to do 16 more ounces of SpaghettiOs. I make the content here. Somebody else fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ben gives it a shot. No. He's right? a big SpaghettiOs You, you guy. made it. You make you it, make, you take it. He did make the concentrate. I think give a shot at it. <laughs> He's thinking about it. I think give a shot at it. Give Tyler run for his money. Dude, his tracksuit is throbbing right now. Make him mad. <laughs> make him mad by That's beating him. That's not the only him. thing. <laughs> make him mad by beating him, and then make him go get more spaghettios when we leave here, and that you guys gotta have the spaghettio off, basically. I'm I'm not doing that. All right, dude. I'm, I'm ready whenever you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, right. Whenever you're ready to go. Ready. I'm sorry. I I can't do that because I'm vegan. It's spaghetti. No, it is vegan. Oh. It, it is vegan. What's his spaghettios? It's not vegan. What's, right? Spaghetti? No, that's, that's definitely tomatoes. Oh. oh, so we're out of excuses. The unfortunate part is that we can't, you know, go to the bars after this. Usually, we go to the bars. With, I mean, it's probably a good thing that we can't go to the bars after this. But uh, Minnesota is all shut down right now. Um, that's why we're social distancing. The whole deal is: Are you guys familiar with these states that literally just don't give a shit? Like, uh, oh, like, Texas, like, like North Dakota, South Dakota, yeah, Any, anywhere that I live, everywhere that they we're don't surrounded. care. At Texas all. is literally like so anti these closing of these places that they're putting out these billboards that are like basically just clever advertising schemes against it. Have you seen this? Like, uh, I saw this photo floating around that's like. So it's this barbecue place and it says risk it for the brisket hell exit yeah. x come yes. here like like yeah we know you might get sick but come have our barbecue you know 
Oh. That's that literally the billboard. Texas it says barbecue, man. Risk it I, for the brisket. I'm not. I'm right. not gonna lie, man. I've had some really good brisket in my life, and there's a few times where I'm like, I would risk it. I would risk. I it. would risk it. If, for if, some if, if it came that with, big boys barbecue if in Stillwater, Minnesota. Oh, amazing! If oh I got some God. cornbread and I got some brisket, and I got like a 400 pack of napkins to deal with it, yes, I would. One do pack it. of Marlboro 100s right after, dude. The only way to top it. We had some studio cigs left here from one of the after parties we had here. Big Someone left a cig pack cake. of Marb Reds in just laying on the floor, and Tyler and I smoked them. I we don't can- smoke cigarettes. I have cancer now. What's it feel like being a, a cowboy? You are red. Cowboy killers. What does it feel like to be a cowboy? Oh my god, I'm not even wearing my cowboy boots right now. Fuck me. <laughs> I wear them every day. Dang, I thought you were an operator. I know. I was about so to whip them Wisco- up. Here. Wisconsin's also one of the places that. Doesn't really care. I mean, that's where like everybody's going is to the bars in Wisconsin right now. Mm-hmm. Right. So there's no shutdowns. Have you seen? That's where Jake gets all of his booze right now on his benders. Chicken yeah. wings. Jake's yeah. a big alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that. Chicken wings. <laughs> I've seen that doing treatment twice, so it's fine. So we're, we're, we're we've cool. been. Uh, you ain't gonna drink that. The flower pot. What are you going to do? We got tagged in oh, this, uh, oh boy. this thing on Facebook. And oh it's boy. like a guy hauling a snowmobile on top of his car in Wisconsin, like on his way to the bar. And uh, I can't tell you how many times that the on tap Facebook page has been tagged in that photo. Is it, fa- is it nasty? Here, no, drink. I don't here. understand what the here. fuck is going on. I'll drink one with you. Here, hold up. It's here. fermenting. Hey, it's- hand me that. It's just the flower pots. Ben Ben it's brought him. Hand me pot. that. It's flower pot water. Here, hand me that. I'll drink it with him. What? It looks like beakers, here, like put, science put, beakers. Put some in the glass. No, I would say I didn't it. even see this no. one here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hand me that one. Such a gentleman. Oh. Did here? you see that photo? Hey. Uh, of, of a the guy on top like of a car? hauling the snowmobile, but it's like sideways. It's not even on the car. It's totally. like a Pontiac Bonneville, and he's yes. got like. A, I've seen a lot of people do that. But it's like sideways. Like, how the hell do you even get it up on there that way? Oh no! There's a Viagra burning. Why does one. everyone keep saying <laughs> "Oh no"? Fucking a! You guys are tripping me out if there's <laughs> drugs and everything around here. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh! Can't, you can't drink anything around here without thinking there's fucking drugs in it. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Thank you, Dollar Tree, Pine City. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. We're gonna have to put this out as a, like a half episode. <laughs> I I really appreciate how well the crashes sound. Yeah. Because that was the thing I told Cody. I go, you know what, dude? I go, you know what the podcast needs more of? And it it definitely wasn't, you know, hosts or anything. I go, you know what it needs? It needs more breaking stuff. That's what we did right from the get-go. We said, if we're going to do something, we're going to do it right, and we're going to have the best sound quality on the market. <laughs> Fireball. You just <laughs> spilled <laughs> half of that. <laughs> okay. I agree 100%. We come out the gate. We got the good headsets. We got the good mics. We got the good board. It's what needed to be done. Yeah, it sounds great. Listen to this shit. It's incredible. It just records the hits. Literally... Oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just chugging it, yeah. chugging it to break it. <laughs> <That's> amazing! <laughs> sounds so good. Ah, uh, okay. How does what does it sound like, Caleb? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much <laughs> glass. <laughs> Everybody's listening to this like, dude, these guys lost it. They they peaked at episode one. Cody, what, what does it sound like, Cody? No, get the <laughs> Hey, don't be picking that up. You don't want to play with it. Okay. America. America. We need to get back Cut on the track here. Caleb. Oh, son of a bitch. Stop it, Caleb. Ben and Caleb. I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions. Okay. And I want you to answer them truthfully. Let me get the buzzer and stuff ready. Okay. Yep. Okay. In in um, in honor, uh, or I should say, without Dalton being able to mess with the questions, I think this is an appropriate time to ask: Do you like Frank's Red Hot on your food? I I'm casually. Gonna, I'm going to answer first. Okay. Yes. Go. Yes. Personally, 
Okay, now this is very deep, yep. but I just want to say that Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> okay, so personally, Frank's Red Hot. I used to put that on everything. Now you might notice Why that you, say you used. might notice I said used to, and the <laughs> <laughs> now the issue with that is I used to put Frank's Red Hot on everything, and then it got to the point where it didn't matter if it was bologna. Uh, turkey. It didn't matter if it was ham. Yep. You put it Frank's Red Hot on Sounds fucking like bologna. bologna. Sounds yeah. like bologna. One hundred percent. Hey, times are tough. <clears throat> okay. I ate a bologna and Frank's Red Hot sandwich for lunch. I'm stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. So it, it, it got to the point where it got to the point where you know what? I would put that on everything, just like the ad, just like the ad. Yes. And you would say, "That's amazing." And it got to the point where. My tummy and my taste buds and everything else. Wait, they said, they said. Yeah, yeah. Frank's Red Hot came out with a, a, a big ad in Grand Rapids. They said, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what your tummy said. No. So literally every everything, whether it's uh, Sriracha or whether it's Red Hot, I would put that on everything. But the, the kicker was every single thing that I would eat would then taste like Red Hot or Sriracha. And I stopped. You're breaking the record for the longest fucking conversation about do I, do I eat hot sauce? I so <laughs> Caleb, do you <laughs> eat Frank's Red Hot Sauce? Frank's hot, Red Hot. <laughs> I had two buttons and you, tur- you turned it into a fucking Stephen King novel. <laughs> <laughs> winga, 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 wing. Yeah. It's, Anyways. All right. So long story short. Cigar. Long story short. No. How do you not? How's it a long story? <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it's shit. Okay. It's good shit. Tell it's us as shit. fast as you can. Good or bad? Good or bad, Caleb? America. The bomb. Understood. The bomb. So, Ben, you don't do it anymore just because it took over all the taste. <laughs> it took over all the taste. You're done with the Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> it, Blasphemous. It, it became one of those things where the Frank's Red Hot <laughs> was delicious. 100%. Absolutely, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. We we got that covered. A hundred percent. It's a great sauce. It's great heat level. It's a great taste level. But it it got to the point where it didn't matter what I put it on. It could be mashed potatoes. It could be whatever. It tasted like the same. And I put that on ramen. I put that on turkey sandwiches. You, I put that on seriously everything. You eat the Frank's Red Hot. You don't let the Frank's Red Hot eat you. Uh, you, you talk to my lower intestine. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. That's weak. Did it kind of sound like this? Mm. Pretty, pretty close. We haven't used that in a long time. <laughs> no, and, and now that I've used it again, I feel like that's like fucked up. But we used to use it all the time. Every episode. Isn't that weird? One through seven at Isn't least. Isn't that weird? It. But now it seems like it's too immature. As we're sitting here and I can't fucking breathe because I'm in a humidor. A human door. I literally got <laughs> hold asthma. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got fucking asthma from your fucking cigars. Hold on. What is asthma? You got that asthma. Yeah, shit. Sure. I think my <laughs> I think my girlfriend she got that asthma. I know it's you wear track suit. I know you wear that track suit for a reason. I think you're required to say that response when you're wearing an Adidas track suit. Dude, every <laughs> time he <laughs> fucking talks, this. bro, it's just we're gonna have to cut oh, this out. Down. We had to cut out the last couple minutes. Hold on, okay. hold on. Pause it one second. Have you ever had a dreams that that you um, you had? I just put my hand in spaghetti hose. You, 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 you want? Fuck! You, you can do. This is so you, bad. You can you you, you, you you want? Okay. You want to him to do? Okay. I'm so yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Turn them turn them all off. <laughs> the boys will be right back. This is how we're gonna end it. Okay. This is you're gonna be oh, the ending of the show. You're gonna end of the yeah, show. You're gonna do it. We just literally just said this. You're the end of the show. Hold on what are you doing? You pulling out your wallet? I am. You can't pay your way out of this. Actually, I might. <laughs> I might be. My is that that retirement money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. What are you gonna do with a hundred dollar bill? You gonna snort the fucking ramioli <laughs> out of there? <laughs> ramioli. <laughs> Toss it up there. Okay. All right. Okay. What's this for? All right. What are you there yet? Oh my god. What's this, this for? I was painful. literally gonna do it for a hundred. You don't have to give me two hundred. What the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> 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 All 
All right, Caleb's put money on the board. There's there's a, a lot of time. money on this. Now you can't take it back. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't be that guy. Yeah. All right. What do you want? Okay. So what are you doing? Two hundred dollars. For what, $100. Caleb? Explain your stipulations and why you put this money on the board. I just want to say I spent five hundred dollars and two dollar bills at the strip club last yep. weekend, so I need this money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying you do both, both, both for two hundred dollars. You, you could pick which way. Was there a time limit? Yeah. Are, are you trying to beat your time from previous? Well, yeah. There's gonna be a time limit. Eight point one on the spaghettios. You're saying eight point one. No. I can't beat no both, both, both. in eight point one. You're making it too fucking hard. No. There ain't no way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't do Leave it. the Viagra girlless. I don't care if it's too There's hard no or not. Hey, honestly. Do 100 bucks. Dude, I've been drinking so fucking much. You can do one for 100. But if you lose. In eight seconds. Yeah. Fuck. 8.33. Dude, I don't know if it's going to float enough. You gotta, no, no, you can't. Hold on. It. Give it a swish around. Oh, there you go. No, yeah. give, give, oh. give the spaghetti oh, a swish around. I'll accept that. See, look at okay. that. Oh, okay. Now we got a list. Oh, oh my! Don't let no it fizz. way! No way! There but is you gotta, no like, way. Spoon it up. You got to spoon it up. to like, oh fuck me! I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke over this over the fucking yag. <laughs> the whole bottle of yag, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be worse than a whole bottle of yag and a fucking can of Red Bull, dude. Okay, oh, but man. this is for all the fucking biscuits. Two hundred dollars. Yep. Okay. Two hundred dollars. If you if you be, <laughs> I was gonna do it for hundred. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Jesus. I tell you what, Caleb. If you give me twelve seconds, I'll, we we'll do it for hundred. Okay. You want this hundred? Done. All right. No, no, no. Done. Yeah. Two hundred seconds. Two hundred dollars. Put it back on the Two. board. Put it back on the board. Two. Just because I'm okay. Fine. Okay, hold on. Hold I'm gonna feel just, really bad if you can't. Do just it. to recap, hold on. Just eight, to recap eight, for the viewers. Eight point one. Twelve point one. Twelve point one. There's, okay. there's spaghettios. There's spaghettios ounces, in the freedom funnel. Sixteen ounces of spaghettios and twelve ounces of natter days mixed together. We're talking thirty eight ounces. No, twenty eight ounces <laughs> of fucking liquid and spaghettios. Okay, two hundred bucks. America. Who's got the timer? I got the timer. Okay. Uh, he's got the puke jug. Ready to go? Yep. He's got the puke jug. Oh, 16 ounces oh, of spaghetti. Oh, 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 that's going down. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh there's a oh, there's a <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> okay, I want to say I was extremely close. <laughs> Dude, you were. How much how much is left? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 Thanks for listening to On Tap with the Boys. Be sure to follow us on social media and stay updated. Tune in next week for another episode about Tyler's problems. Caleb, bring no, us out. Dude, bring us lost. out. What's the last statement? I can't, I can't Was that too, worth two hundred dollars, Caleb? Oh, definitely. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Uh, listen next week for an episode about Tyler's oh, fucking shit. problems. Buy our merch, please. Oh. <laughs> Love you.